hope that everyone here is having a better day than we, we are. We hope you're having a great day. I'm Jamie. I'm Gemma. From Plato and Preschool. We're here to share with you an idea for a book that we like to do during our bear unit. This went pretty well. This activity is the only thing that went well today. <laughs> yeah. I'm teasing. No, no, she's not. <laughs> we, it's underneath the camera tripod. What? I put the book under the tripod. <laughs> We read <laughs> this morning during circle time. I'm going to get a comment, aren't I, about how unprofessional we are. I don't care today. Going on a bear hunt, which is a classic book by Michael Rosen. Um, it's old, what, from the 19... <laughs> <laughs> I didn't know it was old. I, I thought it was old, but it's from 1989. It's one of my favorite books. Like, <laughs> old from 1989. I thought it was from the 50s. It's from 1989. That is, but if you think about it, that is pretty old now. We're going to have to delete this video again. No, we won't. We're going to get it together. Okay, professional. We read this book during our morning meeting circle time today. Usually, we don't read a story until the end of the day. I've got the thing all messed up too, don't I? Until the very end of the day. But today, we read this book for our morning meeting circle time because we wanted to use it to introduce um, some centers that we have set up that we're going to share with you now. So, they're back. I'm, I'm sorry, we lost you guys. It was really like Facebook was like, you think you had a bad day, watch this, <laughs> click. <laughs> All right, so we read this Going on a Bear Hunt, which is a sweet story of this family, and they're looking, you know, going on a bear hunt. We're going to catch a big one. What a beautiful day. We're not, not scared. scared. And then they go over um, six different terrains trying to find the bear. And so what we did is set up a sensory experience for our students that we'd like to share with you. Um, this is probably not an original idea. No. I have a whole Pinterest board of ideas for going on a bear hunt, and I know a lot of you have shared that you've done some great bear stuff. Um, but this is what it looks like in our classroom, so we thought we would just share, and we won't take any credit for any originality. Nope. Get the credit for anything today. <laughs> All right, we're still here. That's that's the credit we're giving ourselves. Some days I think you just have to say, like, we made it. But isn't that the whole point of doing these? Is so that people can share ideas, and if we can see if other people have good ideas, then we're giving people some of our ideas. It's okay to use some of yes. other people's so ideas. That's yes. the whole point of this. Here it goes. I'm not sure where they came from though. Okay, no, we're gonna no. share our sensory experience. I'm gonna show you. It's set up here at our snack area because it's a little messy. And um, then I'm going to show you a, another book that we read to our students to kind of go along with it. So, yes. okay, Gemma's going to... I'm doing it. Okay. You're going to be ready. the four-year-old? Okay, here goes. Let me switch the camera around. There I am. I don't okay. act like some of our four-year-olds. You want to act like a four-year-old? No. <laughs> well, that would be really fun. <laughs> okay. okay, so we have this set up as like a sensory experience here at our snack tables. And in the story, they go through six different... Um, they're looking for the bear and they go over six different terrains. So the first one is they're going through the grass and it's swishy, swishy, swash, oh. swashy, swishy, swashy grass. All right, so then we have a, um, a pan full of grass. Now, our grass here in Virginia in February it's not so good. It's, there's no grass. So this is plastic grass in the craft store. She's like, look what I got from the craft store. And I was like, that's really cool. Look. It's like a patch of grass you can yeah. buy for your Easter eggs or something. Yeah. So <laughs> anyway, it's grass. Plastic grass because it's the middle of winter. So they go in, they touch this, they're going through the swishy, swashy. And they all say swishy, swashy, swishy, swashy. And then the next. the next place that they go is over a deep, cold river. And then we have the kids touch this river. It's just water and those blue those glass, glass beads, beads that we use for everything. And then they say, uh, splash, 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 splash. There you go. And then the next one this is, is the part where it gets this is where it gets a little gross. I did actually put some paper towels out for them to dry their hands between them. I would say maybe half of them did that. The rest <laughs> just went straight from the water into the mud. Right from the so river into the mud. Do, like the four year olds do. <laughs> and they, so the next one, is oh I didn't turn the it's page over. Thick oozy mud. And they go squelch, 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 squelch. And this is the picture of them going through the mud. Nice. And then the fourth place that they're looking for this bear is through the big dark big forest. Dark forest. And they walk through the forest. Stumble, Stumble. trip. Stumble. <laughs> Again, if it was season our block center before, they're really nice. Jamie got them from Hobby Lobby. 
Maybe. <laughs> but they're really good blocks. So. And again, if it wasn't winter, we'd probably put some leaves in there, but yeah, there aren't any. <laughs> no, there's not. And then... <laughs> and I think... Yeah, I said stumble trip, I think, on that one. Stumble so they're just touching the wood. And the last one... Is they go through a snowstorm. A swirling, whirling... Swirling, whirling snowstorm, no <laughs> less. So then we have some fake snow. Now, this was some of the snow that that we featured a few weeks ago. It is from the Insta Snow, and it's mixed in with some yeah. of the instant snow. The, the, the stuff that fake snow. Like sticks to you. We like, mixed yeah. it up, though. So they go through the snowstorm. And then the last place is a narrow, gloomy cave. And so this is just our little table here where we keep our dishes. And we just, this is not fancy, is it? <laughs> just put a piece of paper and the bear's there. So then when Gem and I are acting it out, she was holding the bear. And in the story, I'll flip it back over so you can kind of, so that's how we have this sensory thing set up for that. Um, oh, hold on. Sorry, I moved the tripod thing. It's not really a tripod, it's like a block. <laughs> okay. So when um, the people in the story go through each of those six things and they discover the bear at the end and they run back past each one. So we, Gemma was holding the bear, and then they ran past the snowstorm, ran through the forest, ran through the mud, ran through the river, ran through the grass, um, and then we kind of like ran around the room and they get up in their bed. They yeah. forgot to close the door. Yeah. So they go back and close the door and then we pretended to hide from the bear. So, do you know somebody, when we had our open house on Saturday, they commented, Gemma looks so much taller on Facebook <laughs> than she does in real life. Yeah, <laughs> so it's because okay. you got to scoot closer. Um, and so they loved this. And then after we'd done it as a whole group for our morning meeting. Before you do that. Right, then we yeah. put out these, Gemma, I'll show you. We have these people, we've had them for, for ages, like 2005, we got them. And they're just people, like little plastic people from Lakeshore, constructive playthings or something like that. So there's a mom and a dad and a little girl, a little boy and a baby. Oops, sorry, baby. <laughs> Baby's in there. <laughs> I dropped him in the grass. Um, and so we put all the people out so the kids could come back. And we had the books set out here at the table and the people, and they could just retell the story um, using all these sensory bins. And they were using the book mm -hmm. as reference for, you know, how to say, you know, what comes first and what comes next. It was just a really great sensory, literacy, retelling. And this then they, great they expanded it by taking the people over to a different part of the room and they said, well, we should build a house. So they built, built a house with some blocks and then, well, they need a blanket. So someone, blanket out. someone got a blanket and then they lined them all up. It was a good way for them to expand it from, from the things that we had set out. It was a good activity. It was a great activity. It was, it was great. kind of messy. It was when you get the, your wet hands and then you touch the mud and then you touch Go back the through snow. the water. <laughs> That's always fun. <laughs> but it's good, right? Messy is Yeah, fun. it was good. And then at the end of the day, as sort of a follow-up, we read this book, which is a scholastic book called We're Going on a Lion Hunt, which is the same pattern as We're Going on a Bear Hunt. But in this class, the teacher and the kids pretend that they're on a safari. And so she gives them all safari hats and they pretend to search for the lion. Exactly the same. And it was a great way for us to be able to discuss with them how are these books similar, and what's different about the two books. So, yeah, it was good. So this is a great easy activity just to set up these sensory bins um, and let them retell the story. And you don't have to have these fancy things. You can literally go out and pick some grass from your back garden. Or you I should have showed you outside. We have no grass. No, <laughs> it's just that some people yeah. might. We did just dig up the mud. Or even if you don't, you could use a shredded green paper. That would work too. Or Easter grass would work, I bet. Yeah, like the that. stuff you put in the baskets. Yeah. So um, anyway, a sensory experience is a great way to retell the story. Hey, Kathleen. Hi. You okay? What are you doing home watching Facebook in the afternoon? <laughs> we miss Hi, you. Hi, we miss you. Come back. All right, and today is February 7th, which is our fifth day of... <laughs> I printed it both ways because I kept thinking I'd be able to fix the mm. camera, but I can't on my iPad. A month of kindness. We are challenging ourselves. I should have remembered this this morning. <laughs> I was being grouchy. Sorry. <laughs> I was not kind this morning to Miss Gemma. I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> We're challenging each other to be kind yes. and show love do random acts of kindness and oh planning time sorry to mean to get you in trouble <laughs> good job planning well done <laughs> Keep planning. and you can enter to win a prize every day we are going to draw the winners from last week's prizes 
tomorrow. tomorrow. So if you haven't entered, go back and watch those videos from the 1st, 2nd, and 3rd of February and enter to win. We're giving away a Zyron, um, some ice cream dishes, some theater oh, dramatic those, play. Yeah, some printed materials that we have for what different... Yesterday? yesterday was the Hobby Lobby trays. Oh, the trays. Yes, yeah, so go back and watch those. We want to give you guys some things that you can use in your classroom and it will bring you joy. Hmm. And today... Today is a good one. It's a good one. Flare pens and cardstock. These are my favorite pens. They are her favorite they pens. They are my favorite pens. They do not bleed through like a Sharpie. You still can't write on any sort of um, laminating mm -hmm. with them. Just, I wanted to put that out there. Can't write on your Zyron. But we're giving away a pack of 10, oh, it's 12 Ooh. flare pens and some rainbow cardstock. We'll actually pick two winners for this one. I've got two sets of flare pens and cardstock for you. So be sure to enter the raffle copter up at the top by doing a random act of kindness and telling us what it was. Then we'll pick a winner on Wednesday for the flare pens and the cardstock. Yep. Tomorrow is going to be a big day. Yes. All the winners. All the winners tomorrow. Yay! We're so excited for you guys. So we hope this has been a good idea that you can use with your students at some point. We hope you have fun playing and learning with your kids. And we, hopefully tomorrow will be a better day. And we hope tomorrow will be a better day. And I'm going to bring a bigger cup of coffee tomorrow. <laughs> I'm going to be kinder tomorrow. <laughs> um, I'm actually going to do one more quick... Hi, you guys. I'm going to do one more quick video as soon as this one's over about a separate um, topic. So stay tuned just in about five minutes. Um, separate from the going on a bear hunt. I just wanted to tell you something exciting that's going on right now. So see you in a minute. Bye, everybody. Bye.